Uh, I got nothing to say but F, 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 many, many, many Fs. My whole roof rack just died. Beautiful morning here at Baja San Francisco. Yesterday was the Christmas Eve and we had a dinner in that restaurant over there. Absolutely delicious fish, fish tacos. It was beautiful. Uh, local Mexicans were super friendly. And this is also a campground, so like I think it's 30 bucks and dinner and uh, the camp stay is included, it's all kind of part of the same charge, sort of, sort of. And uh, yeah, yesterday we bumped, this is like third time already in several days, we bump into those uh, Oregon four rigs. And uh, yeah, so usually they're like in front, then we're in front, and eventually now we <laughs> camping out together. And had a Christmas together, so that's kind of cool. Show how uh, some ha hardcore people here take showers. <laughs> oh. We wait, Josh. They wow. stand there outside. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna show the actual hardcore. He's <laughs> like, I want to be famous. <laughs> Whatever is going on over there, who knows? Uh, so this is the base camp outdoor system shower. Propane heats it but you need electricity huh? to pump actually the water and you just stick the pipe here well everyone taking shower and doing morning thing i gotta do mine no shower though but we stayed a few days ago in a hotel so there's a nice shower over there so now today it's just a little too brushing hey debating maybe i should get a shave or not kind of out day maybe away from starting to curl oh yeah those guys gave me a sticker and a badge team overland I swear I seen them somewhere before and some somewhere in social media so cool No more irritation. Good. So it's a Team Overland um, uh, signature. <laughs> signature stay at every beach. <laughs> and he looks pretty happy. 
just gotta put a thing of batter's peanuts on the side of it and take a picture. <laughs> Chances are we're gonna see these guys at an hour That's beach or or beach after next beach, but uh, we'll intersect. That's why I want to see. Everybody's got the same job. See you later. <laughs> see you guys. As these guys were leaving, I've yet again discovered a problem with my roof racks, uh, one of the crossbar towers, except this time it's serious. Uh, it's a shame, but my GoPro let me down, sound is not gonna be that pretty. Essentially all this weight I've been bouncing around for the past two weeks and uh, prior to the trip, uh, and one of the towers that uh, holds the crossbar, uh, that connection actually uh, snapped. Uh, later in my research I found out that Tuli racks, Yakima uh, crossbars, that these systems, uh, they are not that good. Uh, if you're carrying any kind of decent weight, I know they're rated usually for 300 pounds uh, or 150 kilos. Uh, trust me, even though on my roof rack you see lots of stuff, it's nowhere near that amount, uh, but it's because of constant bouncing. So, I'm not sure what to do right now, really not sure, like maybe drive uh, to civilization, to the highway, but the road is going to be as bumpy as how it was, it's kind of dangerous, I'm going to lose my stuff. This is what I kind of cooked up for now, it's a tons and tons and tons of heavy duty deep dive. Might work, might not work, but uh, in Vancouver I had this issue that I fixed just before the trip on my previous tower snapped and uh, I guess and that was probably somewhere in Moab and I was driving several months so if I don't do too much crazy off-road that should be okay but I think I'll stop in some big town and I don't know maybe ask someone to do something about this. I got nothing to say but F, 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 many, many, many Fs. My whole roof rack just died. This joint, this tower snapped. This tower snapped completely. This tower snapped. Everything snapped. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to do. And of course, it's not just the money involved here, you know, trying to now reconstruct the either get four rails now, not two uh, crossbars, or switch to a whole different system. Uh, maybe the ones that are coming from a canopy bottom and go up, but they're kind of ugly looking, I don't want that. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just four crossbars. I had to cut uh, the wiring and uh, zip tie it in the bottom there. All this wiring, all this setup, we spent, uh, Victor, father's friend and I, 
two two we uh, two days uh, so the whole weekend uh, connecting all this stuff so you know figuring stuff out how to connect, how to wrap how to zip tie all this so it doesn't flap and you know it's effort it just sucks it's uh, his time my time figuring all this out now it's all obliterated and it kind of sucks like giving away that tire uh, to the mexicans that just drove by and it's still good like it could probably ride half a year on that uh, tread uh, remaining tread there i totally would have just kept it in the storage back at home and that's actually probably what screw, screwed up this whole thing even though it's not too too heavy so sitting in the corner right and the bounces and uh, probably that addition is what snapped it so we've wrote a pack down from the roof full of gas uh, the only last thing to do was to empty them so fumes don't accumulate for the evening when they arrive there's no space now for a second tire these guys we told them hey, it's a still good tire just take it my poor 37 axle all right finally done how many hours it took four four hours that's with help of uh, two guys in, in the beginning well, four and a half but i wasn't rounding it up <laughs> four and a half to try to squeeze all of it into well now pod is here so i have to unload each night uh, i just emptied two canisters rotor pack so there's gonna be lots of work every day to work around it and uh yeah so basket is here and all this crap over here yeah basically no space for anything anymore and this this fins ratchet strapped and uh, zip tied to the broken towers and that's gonna be set up for another nine days sucks the metal on this toolie towers is pretty bad pretty bad metal you can kind of see still the bits basically see in this case it's not even this part that's snapped in some cases that part is snapped and it's also the metal the metal it's all the connections around metal so it's uh, even though it's designed for free uh, the Thule tracker 2 system even though it's designed for uh, 300 pounds weight it's i guess not designed for the bumps right uh, heavy off-road bounces all around because i definitely had even a tire and everything i had less than 150 kilos on top here or otherwise 300 pounds but it's all the constant bounces and shifts from side to side on previous trip on this trip maybe some of this metal that snapped here uh, actually was already kind of weakened by previous trip right and now with one tower going out and uh, us having to drive through crazy uh, uh, board wash uh, that kind of triggered everything to just give in the ropes here so hopefully this whole system will be uh, will not slide will be kept will not hit anyone in the back uh, all the wiring here everything I've done we've done before I kept it I just snapped the wires uh, that were connecting on the bottom of the truck but this whole system potentially if I were to get two lit hours and the buttons you know two more crossbars then uh, I don't have to reassemble this system I can just connect it on the bottom there and it's all good to go but yeah it's it's gonna be tough uh, right it's like no space now for anything everything is like completely completely packed with crap the idea was uh, we had an idea to potentially put a tire that spare second spare around here with two ratchet straps right kind of harness it in the cross here but uh it uh it would have been blocking my view uh so in the end it's like you know it's a used tire so screw that and so far 
the roads here aren't that bad. No one punctured the tire. After all, I still have a bad tire. And uh, yeah, so we left it like sooner than 12 with those guys. And it's almost 4 already or 4.30, so the sun is uh, going down soon. So just wasted day. Kind of feel sorry for those guys uh, stuck around because of me here. Uh, yeah, oh well, let's keep going. They're holding. Should be okay. I just zipped through all the board wash everything at 60 kilometers an hour. All the bumps, it's all holding. See, now I can do those speeds because uh, all my weight is relocated to the center. Uh, my pod, empty rotor packs and max tracks are in the canopy. That's the stuff I gotta unload every night now. Um, yeah, so I can totally tell like I'm less bouncy on the bumps because uh, I don't have all this stuff on the top and I can just like it feels like I'm, I'm in a race tra uh, track right now. So I unleashed all my anger and sadness and everything through just plowing like by plowing through the track. So I'm just waiting for those guys but at the speed I was going it was gonna be like a good five minute wait probably right now which gives me opportunity to shoot stuff I'll go do some photos After the collapse of the roof, we finally got out into civilization. I think it, the road took still about three hours and we got to Garo Negro. And those guys were running low on fuel already. I restocked with my two fuel cans. And uh, Garo Negro is a decently sized town. There's definitely lots of hotels uh, uh, here. I guess it's like a transitional town. So. Not a bad hotel room. We ate in the restaurant down the road. Uh, we were like, you know what? So tired. Let's get a hotel and just uh, relax. And tomorrow, I think we'll finally actually get to uh, Bay de Concepcion, which would have happened today if we didn't have all these issues with my boot rack and everything collapsing. But yeah, so this is the room. Uh, it's not bad. Of course, the issue is uh, here in Baja second hotel now, and uh, there is no heating of any kind. 
anywhere, uh, no regulator, just period, no heating. So, and right now, because it's, uh, at night it's still kind of chilly, it's uh, outside, it's inside, it's kind of chilly too, like, it's actually more comfortable and warm in, in, in my truck in the evening, because I kind of heat her up. And it's nice and cozy, 25 Celsius. Uh, it's like Mexico in the evening inside of the truck. The Mexico, as in during daytime Mexico. Uh, whereas at night, yeah, it's it's quite chilly here in the rooms. Uh, also, two both hotel rooms uh, don't have fridge. We paid, but I paid for single room. Uh, 40 bucks here uh, in previous motel I paid hotel 60 bucks way overpriced also no fridge nothing um, so we had uh, uh, towels here uh, toilet paper just sitting here because no one bothers uh, no one bothers actually to fix or you can see it here but uh, there is a toilet paper holder that's broken and I am gonna take a shower and actually you know a little bit of heat coming from here I wanted to disperse over here because like I walk in here it's like oh it's like a little bit warm as soon as I walk over here it's like oh my god I want I went back inside of my truck yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a chore every day now, sleeping in there, you know, take out hoof pod, two max tracks, two rotor packs, and yeah, I can't, like, I can't even reach for coffee in the morning right now until I get rid of this, so I'm gonna have to go in the corner store here, or in the hotel. So, yeah, finally got internet here in uh, quite a few days, so I'm just posting Facebook stuff, may as well post whatever happened in the past days and uh, yeah, shower from a movie oh, I tried to turn TV on with whatever can I, whatever they have in here it's like just static, nothing works so whatever there's uh, obviously no lights installed over there just tried this uh, lantern, doesn't work so, I expect that from Bach they're like, eh, whatever we'll still charge 60 bucks for well, 40 bucks in this case for half working or whatever but good enough all right see you in the next episode hey comrades don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it so you can actually get my video updates both in notification in your video feed and as well you can support this channel if you like my videos through paypal or patreon in the links down below or just after this video